going on guys? Selzita Carson here. I'm back to play an Amnesia Custom Story. Now I honestly had to flip a coin between one of these two that I wanted to do. It was really split because I wanted to do both, but I'll show you the one, the other, the one that lost, the one I'm probably going to work on later. I wanted to do The Attic. This is something I wanted to do for a very long time, but I really suck with mods and trying to get them in the computer in the game here itself, but I had to, I had to actually watch a video and everything, but I got it done at least. I got this. Alright. The one I am going to be doing, though, is a very, very popular one. It's been, like, going really fast. Like, let's say, let's say it started, let's say, January 1st. This movie went, this thing went viral already. And already I have, like, four or five fans demanding me to play this custom story. Like, you gotta play this one! You gotta play this custom story! Please, please, play it, play it, play it! And I also, I tried to do a test, um, to try and see if I could just play it in the dark, in use the webcam, but obviously it's not going to work unless I have some kind of lamp with light on my face that's going to show me, basically. I'll get something like that in the future, I promise. It'll be in the future, I promise. But other than that, this is my new room for now, temporarily. If you see my video where I live on my own now, that I moved out and I'm in my dorm at Sac State, you'll understand. Alright, so the game I'm going to be playing is something like three or four fans demanded. They said it's really great, you'll love the story, it's very different from the rest of the custom stories. This is something that more custom stories should be like. And I'm like, okay, well I gotta check it out then. Alright, now, I'm going to do my three warnings, which I usually do. So, warning number one, I will use foul language. So if you do not like foul language, or you are not accustomed to foul language, or you have what I call virgin ears, please do not watch this, or do not watch my Let's Play at all, any of my videos, because I will use foul language. I always do. I'm an adult, I have the right to use it. <laughs> warning number two, I will never ever use the F word. If I do use the F word, then it was because I got too scared, I couldn't control it, it would just happen, and there's nothing I can really do from that, okay? So, you're gonna have to deal with that. Instead of the F, but so I do apologize ahead of time if I do use the F word. Number two. Oh wait, not number two. Uh, the other part of number two is that uh, instead of the F word, I will be using the word fudge instead of the F word. Like fudge Sunday, which actually sounds pretty delicious. Okay, focus, focus. Morning number three. I will be playing this game blind. I, so that means I have no idea where I'm going to be going. I have no idea where I'm going to be doing, or I might die a couple of times. So. So, bear with that. And, well, the last thing I can say is that I might get stuck on some puzzles in the future. So, just bear in mind that. Okay. So, and I also will be doing Investigator Caution for today. Investigator Caution. A late night drink. Okay, I, I'd rather not do that. Let's wait till I get in the game. A late night drink by D'Angelo. I actually like that name already. Whoever came up with that is a genius. D'Angelo. You are a wine enthusiast who has recently purchased a new home. While the while the house itself is nice, what drew you was the was the news of a large wine cellar left over by the previous owner. Unswayed by the by the knowledge that he died in a bout of insanity, you have moved in right away. Though you have planned to wait until morning to to peruse the sec the selection, your curiosity has gotten the better of you. A quick peek, a quick sip, couldn't hurt, could it? That's not creepy at all. And I love how the whole introduction right there is just in perfect grammar. I've not seen, or at least not my eye did, not that I saw, any grammatical errors. So, dude, great job. Let's get the game started now. It's already almost been like four minutes and I've been mumbling. Let's, let's check this out. What the fudge was that? Oh. D'Angelo presents. Oh, this is. This could be like White Knight and. Some, uh, what was the other one? I, I, I can't remember, by the way. I don't have an amnesia dark descent custom story. A late night drink. This is really good. I love this introduction already. You've already won me over. This is way different than the others. I can tell. Scripting by D'Angelo with the help from the fictional game forms. Oh, so you went to the forums actually. That's kind of cool. Story and level design by D'Angelo. This guy must have taken probably years or months to work on this specifically. I'm getting these out of my pocket. Music by Broken Notes. Alright then. 
Let's go check it out. <clears throat> Sorry, I gotta get ready. A late night drink. Thank you for playing my custom story. Please enjoy, damn it! Okay, alright, let's get started. Alright, investigate a cousin on duty here. Let's investigate. Hmm. Investigate a cousin's not finding anything. Nothing out of the ordinary, that is. Hmm, yes. Yes, nothing out of the ordinary. Alright, well, well, what's this? House deed. It's the deed to my house. Oh, that's very nice and all. And that's good and all, but let's read it. This title confers ownership of the land of blah, 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 blah. Nobody cares about that. Oh, Mr. Michael. So my name is Michael, apparently. But everybody knows my name is Carson. This deed is filled with law... With legal jargon that translates to me owning this place. I still can't believe my luck. A beautiful house with a fully stocked wine cellar. I'd gotten it for a steal. It was only after I had moved in that I discovered the last owner had passed away in the basement. Oh, just to let you guys know, if you don't want me to do Investigator Carson's voice, let me know, okay? I will stop doing it if you, don't think, if you think it's getting annoying or you don't like that voice at all. Perhaps they were eager to sell it before word got out, lest the fears and paranoia of religious buyers leave the house in limbo. Well, one man's trepidation, I think that's how you say it, trepidation is another man's discount. Alrighty, well that's nice to know and all. So let's check these drawers. Hmm. Nothing suspicious about these yet. Hmm, move the chair. Ah, oh, nothing under there. Oh, this is locked. Investigator Carson has found something suspicious. Alright, so in ending Investigator Carson's work here, and... Well, that's not creepy. Michael. this That's just some storage area. I have no need to go in there right now. Well, maybe you do. You know, you never know. So, just throwing it out. Yeah, I'm not going all the way down there. If, not down the creepy hallway. You'd be crazy if you did. Alright, investigate a question. Do your job and look. Oh, he found a key to the cellar door. Oh, this sounds suspicious to investigate. Let's go and investigate. <laughs> That's interesting. Huh? Looks like someone slid a piece of paper under my front door. Well, let's check it out then. Note from doorway. I'm sorry I missed you today. I had intended on checking in on you to make sure you were settled in. I am aware that you have learned the fate of the man who lived here before you. I apologize for keeping this delicate matter from you. I have decided that I will tell you the truth about everything regarding the previous owner, as I am certain you will have many questions. I will come early in the morning, try to get some sleep. Oh, I would love to get some sleep, but you know, I want to investigate that wine cellar. Looks like the door, cellar door is locked. I think the key is in the office. Well, I found the key regardless. Time, time to investigate. Let's go. Okay, so I gotta open it. Ooh. The music's actually very different, by the way. I noticed that at the, at the start. Oh, so I get some oil and a lantern already. So let's see. Oh, full lantern, perfect. Nope, nope. I haven't played this in a long time. Bear with mine with me. Okay. Take this. If oh. Take this! If you're planning on going into the cellar anytime soon, take these. It can get dark in there. Your landlord. Oh, the landlord's looking out for me. How nice of him. Time to investigate. Oh, yes, I can feel the mojo here. It's not looking good. So let's investigate and see what's hidden. Locked. Landlord is supposed to give me the rest of the keys in the morning. Hopefully there's a spare nearby. We'll find that damn spare key, whether it kills us or not. I am com I'm not interested in this stuff. I was told there was some rare vintage wines down here. Part of why I bought the place. Okay. Dude, you must be a crazy wine drinker if you love wine like this. Okay, so we have to... Oh, I probably have to open that first. The landlord just told me there's an old storage area. I don't need to go there right now. That's an old storage area. Where's the damn key? I probably am making a mistake, and I probably missed it. Hmm. Hmm. 
Nope. Maybe if I Ooh, move all these boxes, get out of the way, boxes. Out of my way, boxes. I'm going to find my spear key, whether it kills me or not. Let me check. Yeah, something about a spare key. You know, and he was gonna give me the rest of the keys, and there's a spare nearby. All right, let's take a look. Let's go find it. Huh. Why is there a small box? Is what gets me. Mm, this is so far different. I have a strange feeling something is going on. You know, I think it's in every way that I should go into this room. Why aren't you letting me go into this room, Invisible Wall? This is suspicious. Where is that special key? That spare key? I probably missed it, but you know, you can't be... You can never be too safe. There we go. Alright, investigator, caution. Where would you put a spare key if you were in a, a nice house like this? Okay. Oh, and if you hear my roommates talk, by the way, guys, you'll just hear me say then, SHUT UP, ROOMMATES! I'll probably say something like that, but bear in mind, I'm not saying it to you. I would never yell at my roommates, but I will tell them to shut up if they get too loud. And you guys start to hear them. Well, at least I think they're getting loud enough. Damn it, I'm not gonna find this key. I'm never gonna find this key, I think. Okay, so maybe if I use the lantern, it'll pop up. I wish I played this in the dark, okay? I wish. But it's not gonna happen because I need a lamp in order to. You know, I need like a lamp or something to bring light to my face right here in my background in order for you guys to see me, so. Don't get your hopes up on that. You know what? I have a, I have a theory. Give me a box. Aha! Very smart. Yeah, they really wanted you to work for that. I can I can oh wait. Now that I can get into that room, I can almost taste the wine. All right, let's give a taste of that wine. Ah. Oh. That wine is all but mine now. I can almost... How is that fireplace lit when the door was locked that the landlord lighted earlier? This requires investigation. Oh, I was gonna say, why did that not break? Well, you never can be never too sure if something is hidden. The mother load. Which one to try? Calm yourself. I'll try this one for now. Strange taste. Bitter, but interesting. I'll take this upstairs for the night. Wait a minute. What a waste. Good wine brewing a nice room. At least I hope that's wine. Yes, if that wasn't wine, then... Holy sweet bajibos. Alright, so let's get going, guys. Let's close the door, in fact. I'm a little cautious, like something's gonna jump out at me, I have a feeling. Let me duck. Hello? Okay, good. Nothing there. Let's go. What the? Why is this door locked? Hmm, I think the landlord mentioned something about some doors locking when closed. I hope I can find the key. Something about... Hello? This is a little awkward, but I'm I'm just coming to... My, my cars and senses are tingling. Something bad's about to happen. Maybe there's a spare key or a crowbar or something on the storage area. Let's pray and hope there is. Okay. Just climb up here. Hello? Hello, suit of armor. Why is your bed here? Hmm. Nothing suspicious about that. Let's, let's just put it back for now. 
Investigator Carson always goes in to face the danger. Why do you always do- Ooh! Fu- I hate spiders. I have a little bit of a fear of arachnophobia. If you give me- If you show me a tarantula or a black widow or any kind of poisonous spider or a spider that looks creepy, I am going to freak out. What the fu- What the- What the hell? <laughs> Is it getting smaller on purpose? What the- you gotta be kidding me. Wow. No! All those doors I opened. The cellar. No, 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 no. Get away from me! Get away from me! Alright, looks clear so far. Why is that armor looking at me? I bet you get a caution. Run, run away! Run away! Run, 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 run. Uh oh. Didn't I get this note and oil earlier? Already? What the fudge? I mean, I'm glad I got more oil. I mean, don't get me wrong, but why is the hallway longer now? Oh god. My mojo is tingling. Hello? What the fudge? Wait, let me check something. I'm curious, folks. Let me see something. No, not that. Take this, take this, take this. Uh-oh. Carson senses are tingling, folks. But I... Where am I? I'm lost. I should turn back. Not till I see. Taken. If you're planning on going into the wine cellar anytime soon, please come home. We we all miss you very much. You're go you are going to die. What the fudge? Um, let me review these notes, okay? Your landlord. Dangerous in that. Wait. Yeah, it gets. Wait a minute, let's review this. Look very carefully. If you're planning on getting into the going into the wine cellar anytime soon, take these, it can get dark in there. Your landlord. If you plan oh whoops, that's the wrong one. Okay, take this. If you're planning on going into the wine cellar anytime, take these. You it it can get dangerous in there, your landlord. What? If you're planning on if you're planning on going into the wine cellar anytime, take these, it will not help your landlord. What the If you're planning on going into the wine Sella, anytime soon. Please come home. We all miss you very much. You are going to die. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, I don't think so. Do I... The... The... But... Uh. Yeah, let's go back, okay? Run. What the? How did I get here? Oh, shit. Run, 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 run. What the fudge is going on already? I'm, I'm kind of getting freaked out. I want to play this in the dark, but there's not much I can do. Can I go down there? I mean, is like there an option? I need to get out of here. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. There's gotta be a way out of here! What the fudge? Alright, this is gonna take a while to look at. Or, or, a while to investigate. I mean, it'd be, it would make sense you would break that, but you know, there's bars on this, so you can't. Hello? Anything down there? Please, nothing evil. Fudge? Oh! What the fu- Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. Let me out. Uh, uh, I saw the creature. Oh, uh, oh, uh, let me out. Let me out. Ah! No! Oh, no. Oh! Bro! Whoa! What the? Oh, my timer just ended right there. 
All right, I gotta cut the video off right here. So thank you very much for watching. Tune in the next, and I'll see you guys later. So bye bye.